Welcome to this demonstration on how to change the display of grades in the gradebook for your Moodle course. There are various neat ways of viewing the gradebook that are very useful that I hope you all try out. First, log in as a teacher or other user who has permission to edit grades. For this demonstration, I will be using the Moodle demo. Now let's check out that awesome gradebook. Scroll down and click on your course. And then, on the left hand side, click grade. Here we have a pretend gradebook with some pretend students and pretend grades. Wow, student demo seems to be doing very well. 100, 100, and a 90. Bobby Spiff Jr. on the other hand, mm, not that well. 50, 63, 85. Hopefully all your students are more like student demo. To edit the display of grades, let's click my report preferences. Here I am going to explain the different settings in three separate groups. This will just be a general explanation, but if you want more detail on each setting, you can click on the yellow question mark and a pop-up explanation will appear. Or scroll all the way down and view the Moodle docs for this page. Now the first group is general settings. To see all of them, click the show advanced button. These settings deal with the general appearance and uses of the gradebook. Aggregation view deals with what is displayed, so let's do grades only. Quick grading allows for the quick alteration of a grade, and quick feedback allows for quick alteration of feedback, which I will show in a minute. Students per page shows the number of students per page, so for our two student gradebook, let's say one. And finally, aggregation position handles where the course to position. So let's say first. Remember to click save changes or else all your efforts were for nothing. Oh no, where did Bobby Smith Jr. to third go? Oh look at that, we have two pages now. In your gradebook, you may have lots more students and you can alter how many you want on a page. You will also notice that course total is now the first column like we wanted. What about those quick settings? To use those, click turn editing on. Voila! You can edit the grade and any feedback that you want very quickly. If the setting was on no, this feature would be disabled and look like this. Now let's go back to my report preferences. First, let's put both students on one page, so edit the 1 to a 2. Scroll down and the next group is show slash high toggles. These are various toggles that you can play with to enable or disable various features in the gradebook. Let's make them all yes. And scroll down and remember to click save changes. Whoa, look at all these changes. It looks like ranges were enabled and overall averages have also been enabled. Now another way of doing this is by going to turn editing on. You see all those little icons in on the top and in each column? Each icon represents one of these toggles. The hand allows you to edit, the eye will hide or show an assignment, and the lock will lock or unlock the assignment. Pretty neat, right? Last but not least, back in the My Report Preferences, let's check out Special Rows. Make sure that the Show Advanced button is still turned on. These are special advanced features you can start playing with. Range display type changes the values for range, so let's try letter. Decimals shown in ranges deals with the amount of decimal places, but we're using letters, so none are needed. Zero. Column averages display type once again deals with the kind of the value, so let's use real. Decimals are needed this time, so let's do three. You can also choose which grades you want. We want all grades. Also you have the option to show the number of grades and averages, so let's use yes. Click the almighty save changes. And voila! The range is displayed through letters, and the overall averages show the real value along with three decimal places and the number of grades given.
Play with the settings as much as you want and try out different settings. Always feel free to refer back to this video or Moodle.org for further details on each setting. I hope you try this out and continue using the wonderful open source Moodle.